So we have the GigaOM roadmap. So, so who are you? Uh, we are Labka. We make sensors that uh, measure environmental factors. Um, this is our new device. It's a breathalyzer. It's a new device. It's a breathalyzer. So how does it work? Like, uh, is it for people that drink alcohol? Uh, or <laughs> Yeah? So sorry. So it's funny. What happened? Did it break? <laughs> no. It's no. making me laugh. Okay, he made you laugh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but, what's, what's this? How does it work? Okay. Sorry, you don't want to do the video? No. No? I can. I can do the show. Okay. <laughs> so, what does it do? Uh, this is a breathalyzer. Um, it's made to fit in your palm. Um, and you blow into it, and it uses the sound waves in your breath uh, to transmit, transmit the information to an app that comes with the phone, and it gives you a blood alcohol content reading. Just by sound waves? Is that by the normal way to measure that? No. Or is some people do it's other usually, ways? It's usually, uh, most of the uh, breathalyzers on the market use Bluetooth technology to pair the device with your phone. Uh, this, uh, you, there's no pairing, you just blow into it and it starts the measurement in the app. Uh, it also automatically checks you into your location. So if you look back from the night before, uh, you'll see a history of where you were, what alcohol levels you blew, and who you were drinking with, for example. It's really easy to pass around at parties if you hold it into your fist. Uh, this sort of serves as a mouthpiece, the edge of your hand. Um, so, uh, so if you forget what happened the previous night, uh, it will tell you. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, or if you just want to create a journey for yourself. Uh, journey. Uh, sure. Is it for people that drink a lot, or not special? It's for everybody. Everybody. It's for uh, teenagers who aren't even allowed to drink. It's for sober people. It's uh, whoever wants to use their breath for something other than just breathing and it's also for wearing so jewelry so breathalyzer is not only about alcohol what is it about uh, is it only about alcohol or is it's about capturing moments um, real life moments uh, that being wherever you are with your friends um, and I guess what we do overall at Labka is we want to start utilizing different environmental factors that you wouldn't think to do so in order to capture these real life moments. And for example, over here we sort of do the same thing. We go a little different direction, but these are also sensors that, uh, this one, test radiation. This is electromagnetic field. Uh, this uh, tests for temperature and humidity. And this one is a probe that you stick into your fruits and vegetables and it will tell you how organic it is by uh, looking for nitrate levels that were left over in the fertilizer. That's insane. Does yeah. it work? Very, yeah, All very this. well, very well. But uh, so... We just, we just uh, tested uh, some of the bananas earlier. All organic. So the bananas here are good at very the conference? Good. Yeah. Everybody, everybody's fine, healthy. And uh, the thing you measure is the unhealthy stuff, which is only made by what's called a... Uh, Unorganic we, stuff. It, uh, it'll tell it. It doesn't just say organic or inorganic. It gives you an exact number, so you know on a range of health guidelines how exactly it uh, stands up. Are you the only guidelines. ones doing this in the world? Uh, well, Lots of companies do this. Um, in a specific way, yes. But I mean, these we didn't we come didn't up. We didn't. We didn't come up with the idea for these sensors. For example. Uh, we didn't come up with the ideas for these sensors. This is just a Geiger counter. Um, this is like all these sensors are have already been made, but they're really exclusive to professionals. Um, and this, for example, is really medical, and we just want to make them cool and cute. Uh, they're available on Shipped here. All of them in here in one. Yes. And you all can, this. You can. Is in one box. Uh, these are in one box. These in here and this one in there. Yes. So Lapka. Are you in the market? Hmm? Are, you, are you for sale now? Or is yeah, it uh, uh, this, the, or? These four de These four devices yeah. uh, have been on the market for a year. They're available online on the on, they're available online at the website and they're also available on urbanoutfitters.com. Um, How much? 
for two fifty for the set of four, you can also buy them individually. How much um, each? Like? Uh, it varies. Uh, for the this one, Geiger counter is a bit more expensive, so it's so one twenty. So this one, you can check if there's a like if you are in uh, Fukushima. Or you need live in somewhere in Japan, you can check if you are getting radiated. Right. For, yeah, the Yerba Buena Center is actually very radioactive. We should all get out of here. Really? So, yes. For real? Yeah. Why? How? Hmm? We measure. I don't know. You don't know where it comes tons from. of radiation here. Whoa. I think it's 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 all these uh, tech startups. They just radiate. The Wi-Fi stuff. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But uh, so all this would show up cool. Do you, can you show it on your phone? How it looks? Yeah. Sure. And uh, this one, how much? 200. That 200. is just available for pre-order. Yeah. At the moment. How soon um, you will ship? Hmm? How soon December. you shipping? December. Okay. This is December. So it's a cool Christmas present. Yeah. Uh, do you want to see this? Yeah. You test the so radiation. some of the UI you have. All right. So uh, you can download the app without buying the device, and with the app you get uh, access to the real-time map. Every measurement that's taken is automatically sent to servers. Nice. Um, so you can look all over the world. How many people are using it? Uh, that I can't really say, but uh, you can actually see all the measurements that are being taken. It's right not only now. five users in the U.S. Hmm? Does it, it's not only the five users you have. You have many more, thousands. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Um, for example, I think. Oh, that's a good electromagnetic field lamp. Right there. Uh, and then we have over here in Europe. Oh, you're all over the place. Yeah. And this is the Geiger counter? That's the uh, atomic... The, 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 you can filter it. Uh, uh, whether you want to see the electromagnetic field readings, humidity readings, organic readings or just everything. Um, and you can filter by good reading, neutral reading, bad reading. Um, and if you do have the device, um, let's, for example, let's uh, test for the radiation in here. Um, plugs into your headphone jack. And once you, it will detect the device that you're using. It works on Android? Uh, we're developing this for Android right now. Um, this is available for Android and iPhone. Um, so this is the interface. Um, it gives you. It comes with a bunch of presets because we understand that there are uh, different scenarios call for different scenarios call for different uh, comfort guidelines. Okay. Um, so we have airplane, home, baby, and daily, which is what we would test right now. Um, so. You Click background. Um, so which test are you doing now? Radiation. And, is this good or bad? Um, well, it will tell you eventually. Um, Get out of here. The, these, these are the particles that are uh, represented in real time. We could walk all over the Yerba Buena Center and actually determine where exactly uh, is the most radiation if we Whoa. just left this open. This um, is so awesome. So after you measure for a while, you click this. And this will tell you that the environment seems great for daily activity. So you can stay here? Yes, and it'll give you a location. And, you, uh, you can send this. To the world, everybody can see? Um, yep, yeah, sure. How does it um, look uh, around Fukushima right now? Do you have users over there? Um, maybe. Maybe. So, uh, <laughs> how many people in Lapka? Uh, it's a small group of us. Um, very small, we're self-funded. Are you the CEO? I'm not the CEO. One of uh, the founders? Uh, I, Vodak is the founder. Who is cool. Um, All right. So, what are you going to do next, the company? Uh, well, we're going to focus primarily on the breathalyzer. Uh, we just came out with it, I guess. You yeah. make manufacturing in China? Uh, all over the place. Hardware is made China. Uh, uh, London packaging, um, but all the design is done in-house. Cool.